Alright, hi guys, this is Comrade X recording in the RFP bot, and this game's a uh, PVT on Python. And I figured I'd, do, I'd use the same app, and I used everything the same for the last game. If you guys have watched my last game, you, this, you guys have to. If you were watching this game, you have to watch the game right before this, because this is basically like a p continuation of the game before this. The game before this, I did 100 Marine. 100 marine I don't know why they call it a 100 Marine Rush. It's actually not 100, it's like 8 Marines or 10 Marines, but. They call it a 100 Marine Rush for some reason. Anyways, yeah, last game I did a 100 Marine Rush with Turan against Protoss, and I killed the guy, and some of you guys might be wondering how to stop it, and now this game I'm going to do a build to stop the 100 Marine Rush. So yeah, if you haven't watched the last game, then, well, I guess you still could watch this game and learn a few things, but this game I told my opponent to do a 3 bear axe Marine Rush, and I was just going to stop it, and I'm basically going to do a normal build order. It's just, how to, like, I'll only, stop, I'll only start reacting to it once I see him actually doing it like I won't get anything to defend it before like I'm not gonna get cannons right now because cannons obviously rape that but I'm not gonna get them right now I'll get them after well I'm not gonna get cannons cannons is a way to defend this but if a guy fast expands with 14 nexus or 12 nexus which I honestly have never seen 12 nexus but I guess it is a build order cause I don't know people I, I, I tried it one time just cause everyone talked about it and it does work but yeah, um, let me see. I'm just getting my two probes here just because his SUV is obviously going to come down here. And when it does, I'm going to make my probes block its way. And then I'm going to make my probes kill it. And as you can see, I did block it away. And come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. See, those probes helped kill the scout. And as you can see, uh, there, I scouted his build. And I, scout I didn't scout the bottom position because his SUV came scouting me very early. And the only way for his SUV to come scout that early if he was one of those positions, unless he scouted cross positions, but that's very stupid for someone to just randomly scout cross positions for no reason. But yeah, well, I guess it would be, wouldn't be that stupid because scouting cross positions is smart if you're doing a cheese, so then you don't have to travel that much. But anyways, um... Yeah, now I see this, and I'm still not even going to do anything. I can just, now I'm just going to know I have to micro more. This is, I'm keeping this in mind. I have to micro more, and I have to basically just pump out Dragoons and be, I'm prepared for him to attack me now. Like, I'm not going to be caught off guard, because now I know what he's doing, and so I'm going to be prepared for this. And again, I'm just running my probe around, just because I, I know what he's going to do. I told him to do this build. But yeah, as you can see, uh, my normal build order isn't changing that much. It's just a still normal PVZ, PVT build order. And I'm just gonna basically know I have to micro what he's doing. So I just again keeping this in mind, I just need to know to micro. And now once once I get my first three dragoons out, I'm gonna go push out outside of his base. And when they do now, I'm basically safe from any type of drop, and I'm I'm safe for any type of wraith rush or like cloak wraith rush. Believe me, that happens. I'm safe for like a tank drop. I'm safe for like a fast expand. I know what's happening right now, and that's very good because that's really good information that a person needs. Like. I know what he's doing. That basically means I can just make all my dragoons come outside his base. I can expand whenever I want because I know exactly what he's going to be doing. And I saw a marine here, and he's being stupid by keeping just a random marine here. So now that he's going to take the uh, take the what do you call it punishment for? I honestly don't know what you call it. Well, I probably do. I just forgot. But yeah, he's going to uh, get delayed or whatever you call it for leaving. He's going to take the consequences. There we go. Fucking consequences. Couldn't get that out of my my. Mouse. But yeah, he's going to take the consequences for leaving the marine there, and that consequences are that the marine is going to die, which is, that was a very pointless statement, but anyways, yeah, um, anyways, here we go, okay, so now I'm getting my first three dragoons outside his base, and this is basically going to stop him from, uh, now it's not going to, it's going to basically like, when I get my range upgrade, three dragoons can kill an uh, unlimited amount of marines, as long, okay, well, they can kill like a good 10, 15 marines, if you can micro them very well, and I am that high of a skill level, to micro three dragoons to kill 15 marines. Believe me, it's possible. Uh, and you'll see here, unless my two dragoons come out. And I'm just waiting for range. There's a range upgrade kicked in. And now, since my dragoons are ranged upgraded, now I'm just going to micro like crazy. And how many marines is this? This is a good 10, 15 marines, let's say. And I killed one so far, and I've damaged the rest. But now I got five dragoons. And five dragoons kill 15 marines, like, with just a little bit of micro. Without even losing one dragoon. Watch. I probably won't e I probably lose one dragoon at the max or something. But yeah, as you can see, again, just spreading my guys out. And my marines, again, marines, he's basically trying to catch up to my dragoons uh, to do damage. And this guy, he's basically screwed right now. Um, yeah, okay, so this one dragoon is at low life. But I'll run this dragoon, make sure it doesn't die. And now... He's attacking my other Dragoon, and this Dragoon did die, so now I lost one Dragoon, and he lost, I don't even know, 20 Marines, 15 Marines, approximately. And, yeah, that's TG, guys. Now he has, like, no effort guaranteed that's TG. 
some quick announcements are, uh, yeah, go, uh, check my previous game, uh, donate, donate if you can, 50 cents a dollar on my PayPal account, it's written in the profile, I'll be writing it into all profiles, go check out Dignity Must Have Class Art, go check out sc2gg.com, go check out starcraft2.com, that's a pretty good website also, and go check out, uh, Greth SC, go check out Cyanic Griever, um, go check out Epilogue, E-P-I-L-0-G-E, um, go check out, I have no idea, go check out, like, just go to YouTube and check out, just type in StarCraft and watch everything there, because honestly, there's so much things about StarCraft, go check out StarCraft 2 uh, videos, because there are videos of StarCraft 2 out already on YouTube, and those are really fun to watch, I, I watch them, I watch, like, all the videos for StarCraft, but yeah, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything else left. Uh, just again, donating if you guys can, 50 cents a dollar. I'll be giving shout outs soon to the most top donators, cause you know that'd be pretty. I, I, it's good to know who donates the most, and I don't know. And some people, if you if you don't want me to give you a shout out, just message me saying you don't want. Someone already did message me saying he doesn't want a shout out. So there's one guy, and the top donating right now is ten dollars, and the second place is uh sorry, top donating is twelve dollars, second is ten dollars, and. Um, my videos are posted like a week later after they're recorded, so that's why my it might be a little off depending on the recent donators. But yeah, um, what else? What else? What else? I guess that's it. Now let's go, I'm just gonna stop recording because he's starting to be gay now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, peace out and look forward to more videos for me coming out now. See you guys.